Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Bancor to convert your POA20 tokens to Ether and then back again. First, I'll show you how to do this with MetaMask, and then I'll show you how to do it with the native Bancor wallet. You can see that I have about 750 POA20 tokens in my MetaMask wallet and a very small amount of Ether. To convert these POA20 tokens to Ether, I'll populate the from field with the POA20 tokens like this, and then I'll populate the to field with Ether like this. Now I'll enter 700 POA20 tokens. You can see the conversion amount here, and I'll click Convert. Now I'll select MetaMask and click Next, and Next again, and Proceed. Now I'll sign this transaction with MetaMask, and that's it. You can verify your transaction with Etherscan, or you can also open MetaMask to see that our POA tokens have decreased by 700, and Ether has increased by the converted amount. Now we'll go the opposite direction by selecting POA tokens in the To field and entering 700 as the value, and click Convert. Select MetaMask and next, and next again, and proceed. And we'll sign this transaction, and there you go. That's the other way. We can see the transaction has been completed by observing that our POA20 balance has increased by 700, and our Ether balance has decreased by the converted amount. Now I'll show you how to convert your POA20 tokens with the native Bancor wallet. We'll start by adding POA20 tokens to our wallet like this. Now I'll click Receive Tokens and copy the address like this. Let's fund our wallet with MyCrypto by pasting the address we copied into the address field and selecting 700 POA20 tokens to transfer to our Bancor wallet. Now I'll also send a little bit of Ether to the Bancor wallet to pay for gas fees. Now we can see the POA20 tokens and the Ether in our Bancor wallet. Now that we've funded our wallet, we can convert POA20 tokens to Ether like this. We'll populate the from field with POA20 and the to field with Ether. We'll enter 700 POA20 tokens and click convert. Now we'll choose Bancor Wallet and click Next, and then Next again. This time we'll enter our password to authorize the transaction, and there you go. We can verify the transaction by going to the Bancor Wallet and seeing that we have no more POA20 tokens and that our Ether balance has increased by the converted amount. Now we can convert Ether back to POA20 tokens like this. We'll populate the To field with POA20 tokens and enter the amount of 700 and click Convert and select Bancor and Next and Next again. Now we'll enter our password and click Buy and that's it. We can verify the transaction by seeing that our POA20 balance has been restored in our wallet. Now we can send these tokens back to MetaMask like this. We'll copy our address from MetaMask and enter it in the To field, and click Send, and enter our password. And you can see that our POA20 balance has been restored in MetaMask. And that's it! That's how easy it is to convert your POA20 tokens with Bancor using MetaMask and the native Bancor wallet. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for more information about what you can do with POA20 tokens. And until then, thanks for watching DAP University.